So welcome everybody. Um, what I'm going to show you, uh, I think, is an interesting case because it it sort of provides a synergy of really three things going on with this case. You've got the bi-clear composite technique, you've got the integration of implants into the technique, and you've also got the Dahl concept in there. And this is one of the cases I presented um, when I recently did a, a, a day with myself at uh, the British Dental Association. So I'm really going to focus in on the clinical aspects of it. So hopefully you can take away some clinical tips from it. So you can see that this is the sort of case which suits its well, um, self well to a dial approach. So you can see poor aesthetics with the case. Um, we've got central incisors that have been restored with composite that is all falling apart. Now it's an interesting case because it's challenging because look, you've got the, you've got the canines where the lateral incisors should be and you still have the retained C's. So at first glance, you're like, whoa, this is a, is a tricky case. You've also got the collapse of the bite with the tooth wear, so you've got no room to restore it. So obviously, it's going to show these three things. We're going to build up the front four teeth with BioClear. We're going to use implants to replace the, basically what are the canines, what are going to be the canines but are currently the C's. And we're going to open up the OVD as well. And the dull technique works well for very localised anterior tooth wear. So you can see the bottom teeth are in a reasonable condition. They simply need those cupping lesions filled with composite. The back teeth are in a reasonable condition. There's a decent occlusal plane. This is quite a nice technique to use a dial approach. So very basics on the implant planning. I talk about this quite a lot in presentations is restorative lead implant planning. And a major part of restorative lead implant planning is undertaking a, a localized CBCT scan and then placing an abutment and a crown on that image of the implant. So bottom right, you can see here that we have placed an implant, we have placed an abutment on it, and then you can get an idea of the angulation of the implant and whether this case is going to be screw retained angle correction screw or a conventional screw or whether it's going to have to be a more complicated case in terms of cement retained or does it need hard or soft tissue grafting. So you can see here that there are angulation issues on the bottom left so if we do the case without any bone grafting we can see we're going to be able to go angle correction but it might need to be it might need to be some cement retained but looking at it, you're thinking screw retained, but probably angle correction. A lot with tooth wear as well, it's employing other skills here. You can see from the first slides that we have actually crowned lengthened the front four teeth. And this will give us a better crown to implant ratio, meaning that we can get closer to golden proportions with these teeth. So you can see the implants have been placed. Crown lengthening has been done. And then really what I think with modern implant dentistry, you can see that we are doing our scanning digital impression. It's very rare now that I'm doing conventional impressions. Most of my work is with scan bodies. What's the beauty of this? Quick and easy. Scan with the healing abutments off scan with the scan bodies on, scan the lower arch, scan the occlusion. And this, this takes minutes to do. It's very, very quick. What are the other benefits? Now I use the um, Trios version 5 scanner. The shade taking is pretty accurate on it as well. But just scanning the occlusion and being able to look at it and being able to look at the scan bodies gives you so much more information, gives you instant information about the case before you send it off to the lab. It's really, really useful. And then I think this is a nice case because what comes back from the lab are titanium abutments, but the lab coat them with lab composite. And then what we can do is treat 
all the front six teeth with Bioclear. The trouble with doing this differently is you could use lab composite crowns on those canine spaces. You could, in addition to that, potentially use ceramic, but you're always struggling to match that to composite. Mix and matching different materials at the front of the mouth isn't going to work for a patient who is aesthetically demanding like this. So you can see what we're doing is using little drigs to screw down the abutments and then these are just natural teeth. If you look at the PA, you can see that the bone levels around the implants are very nice. And then this case is quite easy because you've now got teeth. So don't, the implants are no longer implants, they're implants with an abutment on that you're going to convert into teeth. And if you look at the BioClear technique, basically the BioClear te clear technique, a 360 degree wrap around matrix, then you're going to use your heated monolithic injection and a cutback technique. And you can see that we've uh, done it here on the centrals and the laterals. And, you know, look at this compromised case. You can see it's never going to be a perfect case because you're trying to disguise canines to look like laterals. But if you look at it here, you know, it's starting to come along very nicely. We're building up our centrals and we're using our principles of particle abrasion on the teeth and then heated monolithic over, overbuild. And you can see that what the composites give us is a very, very nice aesthetic result. And then finally you can build up the canines. Now it's not a perfect result because you've got the laterals, which are canines, trying to be laterals, but now you've built up the canines as well, you can see it, prov it provides a very, very nice aesthetic result for the patient. And interestingly, what you can see as well is the nice gingival response you get with Bioclears. On the courses that we run, we teach Bioclear. We also teach matrix transfer techniques for applying monolithic composite. But there's no doubt with the BioClear where it wins every time is at the gingival margin. And with matrix transfer techniques, you're always going to have problems finishing the margins. Whereas you can see that the margins on these BioClears are superb and the gingival response is superb. What else have we employed here? We've employed a Dahl effect. So if you look particularly um, on the right of the patient, you can see that the, the actual overbuild of these composites has maybe opened the OVD posteriorly up to a mil and a half. And that will super erupt in over probably, well, in this case, it, I was going to say probably about six months. Within about three months, these teeth had super erupted into a decent occlusion. So I think that's an interesting case to look at because you have the crown lengthening, you have the implants, you have the bioclear, okay? And it's a nice synergy of a number of techniques coming together to treat what is a very complex cosmetic case, but doing it in these stages and using these techniques provides a very, very durable, long-lasting um, result for the patient. So thank you for your time today.